and you know we back booming baby on today's vlog i'm finally about to get my hp tuner set up i got the hp tuners kit in my trunk so we about to get that set up today i've got a um notification warning on my car for the side detection system if you guys have been following the vlog for a while you know i've been having this intermittent issue i've replaced the fuse the fuse blows so obviously i've got a short somewhere i got to get that figured out today and then peep the trunk right there i don't know if you guys can read it let me see if i can get you on top of the box I got a sound cube sub. I actually bought these a few years back for my Mustang. I never had a chance to put them on there and then I got into that accident. Now I'm thinking about getting them set up in the Camaro. What y'all think, man? Should we do one subs, two subs? I feel like two subs might be a little bit too much in this car. I've already got the Bose system, so we're gonna check that out today too, y'all. Oh, and I almost forgot. I got an exhaust update for you guys too. Boom, so there's my HP tuners, you guys. And I've got the laptop to go with it right here. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Before we get into that, let's get to what's been the number one question on my channel lately. What is going on with my Corsa NPP exhaust? So today, Corsa reached back out to me. My guy, Matt over there, who I've kind of dealt with before a little bit, he's the one that let me know when this Corsa MPP was gonna be released. Anyways, he reached back out to me, let me know that my warranty claim had gone through. They're gonna be building me a new muffler and getting it sent out to me, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated with that. When I actually get it, we'll get it put back on the car. If you guys don't know or you missed the last video or something, my Corsa exhaust was rattling and we've actually been driving without the actuators on here. Um, the other side's the same way because the actuators actually started to, f I don't know, fail after a while or what, but I think it's because the valve wasn't working. The actuators quit working and this valve is loose in here. Now to get by in the meantime, I put this wire to kind of fill in the gap here so that it wouldn't rattle so much. But I'm having a little bit of an issue where this wire I put in here actually isn't tight enough on the pin. So this valve keeps opening and closing a little bit on me. So probably like once a day I'm having to get out and open this valve all the way back up. Cool. So I got the last bit of it out of there. I just had like a little thin piece of metal wire that I kind of put in here to keep it stiff because as you guys can hear, it just moves all around and then it moves back and forth side to side like that. I'm gonna see if I can get a thicker piece of metal to stick it in here so that it's not moving around so much because as I drive, it keeps going to like half closed. So need something thicker to hold this sucker in place and keep it from rattling because I'm even still getting just a slight rattle that I can hear at certain RPMs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a thicker wire put in there. All right, you guys, I think I got it in there pretty good. I went ahead and tied it up there so that this valve can't move back and forth. And then to fill the gap right here on this pin, I added a little bit of string in there just so that I mean, it still might vibrate a little bit, but hopefully not as bad as it was. And the main thing, I don't want this exhaust to close on me anymore. All right, so we got it all put back together. We should be good to go until the new muffler comes in. Again, I'm not knocking Corsa and their product in any way. I still love their exhaust. Also, thank you to everybody that reached out to me, offered to help me out with this. Um, some people told me about their stories, the issues they were having. Somebody sent me another video of someone having a similar issue. I appreciate you guys for sending that to me. I definitely love my community. So I told you a little bit about it, but these are sound speakers right here. I've got two 12 inch subs in here. 
The model number on these is HDS2. Now I just took a quick look on the internet. It looks like they've released a new model, the 2.2. These are the 2.1s, but the new models don't seem to be that new. I picked these up like two or three years ago for my Mustang, but I never got a chance to actually install them. So now I'm thinking I might get them put on the Camaro or at least get one of them put on. If you guys don't know what Sound Cube is, they make a really heavy duty solid subwoofer. And these things, they hit hard too, you guys. It hits like more on a competition level. Now these are their street series right here. You guys can read the back there. I'm hoping to get one of these installed on my Camaro. I went and I just picked these up from my mom's house. They've been sitting over there for years since I got them. So I got these picked up. You guys definitely stay tuned. This will be coming to a vlog very, very soon. See if maybe I can build like my own custom box and get these installed now let's get to the HP tuners I've been sitting on this for I don't know three four weeks now you guys at least I've just been dying to be able to hook this up see how it works tune the vehicle so let's get it hooked up now today I'm not gonna be messing with tuning or anything like that I want to get it hooked up so that I can read the diagnostics I've got that code for the side detection system so I'm sure there's some of you that have probably used the HP tuners kit or use it now but I've never used it before and I bet you there's a decent amount of people out there that haven't used it like me so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it on camera with you guys here and we'll see everything that it comes with as an obd2 plug-in this could be a thumb drive quick little starter guide not really too much should be fairly simple got stickers you know we love stickers get the stickers hooked up right next to the zt zooming need to get my coarser stickers up here too oh, i kind of like that one in the lighter color there that's cool now nah, i think i like the red though Cool. You know, I love stickers. Got a little lanyard here, and then we've got cord to plug in. Maybe they send this so that we can save our tune file. Guess I should read the directions before I tell you guys anything, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and download everything I need real quick and get this done, and then I'll catch up with you guys. Five minutes later. One hour later. All right, you guys, so this is the VCM scanner right here. This isn't the editor where you can go in and adjust everything. This is just the screen that allows you to read stuff. I'm not quite ready to go in and start adjusting everything yet, so I just wanna be able to read it right now. You can read RPMs, you can read the speed, intake air temperatures, math, map sensors. I mean, it's all in here. You can check the spark, you can mess with the fuel trims, O2 sensors. All right, you guys, so I got it hooked up down there i doubt you can see it but it's hooked up to the obd2 port now i'm back on the hp tuners vcm scanner and now i'm just gonna go over to diagnostics and info see it reads the dtcs we'll hit read dtcs down here I had to switch to my iphone real quick the gopro camera doesn't really focus in on stuff i just read the dtcs down here and then this is what popped up cylinder deactivation i'm guessing these right here these are just both of the afm valves remember i was getting the check engine code for that fuel pump control module request mill illumination I don't know what that is but it has the code number right there so I'm gonna look that up and then I think that b3110 that has got to be for my side detection system I'm pretty sure so let me look these up real quick and see if I can get an answer so I'm typing in different things what this b3110 could be this one says it's a keyless entry transmitter battery uh I know my battery went bad like in the past so maybe this is an old code that's just been stuck in here i don't know this isn't making much sense and if i go to different websites it starts telling me crazy stuff like to say the camshaft cam timing is messed up i mean yeah get out of here with all that i highly doubt that's what it is so let's try this P069E, fuel pump control module. This is where the PCM receives a request for the fuel control module. Yeah, this is looking pretty consistently to be the code for that. I'm gonna have to look into these closer. I don't wanna give you guys the wrong information. I'm kinda doing this all on the fly. I'm out at the shop right now. I think I'm gonna take a screenshot of these and then go home and take the time to really look this stuff up because I'm not even seeing anything that mentions that side detection system. And I'm going to start the car up and try reading these again. And also, I want to show you guys how all of this stuff looks once the car is running. Because I should be getting live readings. Hopefully my exhaust isn't too loud and you guys can still hear me. 
<clears throat> but this is what the scanning software looks like once you actually start it up. So like I said, we can read RPMs, we can read the speed, IATs, intake air temperatures, MAFs, MAP, injectors. This is actually really dope. I mean, like this here, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't even know how to read this for sure and what that's reading. I've mentioned it on the channel before, but if you guys don't know, my grandpa was a mechanic for GM for a long freaking time. And so he understands how to read all of these things. He actually complains that when he gets an OBD2 reader that they don't let him read enough stuff. I mean, I understand the basics of what's going on, but he'll be able to really break a lot of this stuff down for me. And I'm sure it'll help me out a lot once it comes time to actually tune. All right, you guys, so we're leaving the shop. I'm super happy with the HP tuners. Everything that it allows me to adjust, that it allows me to view, I'm super juiced about that. Now, I can't actually adjust anything yet because I've got to purchase the credits. I haven't actually purchased the credits yet. What you doing, Mustang? I know we can't trust y'all drivers. Anyways, I haven't purchased the credits yet. I need to get those purchased but I'm waiting to purchase them and I'm waiting for a specific reason, you guys. So you'll just have to stay tuned. I, I can't even wait. But that's gonna do it for today's vlog. This your boy ZT Zooming. We keep the shit booming and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>